Hey Cryptocurrency Market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial, Jedi Master, and I'm extremely excited to be here. In this video, I'm sharing with you how to set up a Waves wallet. The first step is to find the correct domain name, so I'll go ahead and show you how I do that. I'm going to go ahead and go to my browser here, and I'm going to search coinmarketcap.com. On this list here, I'm going to scroll down until I see the coin that I'm looking for, which is Waves. And I see it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And by clicking that, it redirects me to this, which gives me more data about Waves. And what I'm going to do here is click Website. And that sends me to wavesplatform.com, which is the website. So go ahead and search wavesplatform.com. And when you do so, make sure it's connected to a HTTPS website and verify it's secure by making sure it has this green padlock right here. And it does say it's secure, so we're good there. Another way to find the website is to go to their Twitter profile. So I'll go ahead and show you how I do that too. I'm going to go back to CoinMarketCap under Waves and scroll down a little bit and click on this button which says Social. And what I'm going to do is scroll down until I see the Waves platform Twitter profile right here. So I'm going to click that. And this is what the Waves Twitter looks like. As you can see here, they have 132,000 followers. And I would say that's a sizable amount. And if you look at their bio here and the link that they promote, it's wavesplatform.com. So if I click that, it's going to take me back to wavesplatform.com. So great. We now know this is the official website. So I'm going to exit out of that and this Twitter. And I don't need this CoinMarketCap website up anymore. And this is the Waves platform website. There's a pop-up here that says join our Telegram channel. And feel free to do that if you wish. However, I'm going to skip that for this video and click X right here on the top right. And this is what the Waves website looks like. So we're on to step number two now, which is to choose the correct wallet. And I'll show you how to do that. On this website, wavesplatform.com, right here in blue it says download client. You're actually going to go ahead and click that. But before we download it, I do want to be clear that the Waves client, which is what we're downloading right now, is the official wallet and it's developed and maintained by the core Waves dev team. So I'm excited to download this wallet. And that leads us to step number three, which is to download the wallet. And what you're going to notice is that there's three options. There's a Windows, a Mac OS, and a Linux version. At this point in the video, go ahead and choose the appropriate download for you. You might be using a Windows or a Linux. However, for me, I'm using my Mac desktop and I'm going to go ahead and choose Mac OS. However, continue following along with me in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and click Mac OS. And as you can see here on the bottom left side of the screen, it's saying that it's downloading and it's going to take about 10 seconds to do. So perfect. It downloaded pretty fast. So we're going to move on to step number four, which is to install the wallet. And the way that you install the wallet is by clicking on this download right here on the bottom left. And it's going to start opening up the client, which is another way of saying opening up the wallet. So it says Waves Client right here. We're going to go ahead and drag this to our Applications folder. So do the same thing. And we're going to go ahead and try opening it by double clicking on it. And it's verifying right now. It's saying that this Waves Client can't be open because it is from an unidentified developer. You're going to go ahead and click OK here. And the proper way to open the Waves Client is to go to your Finder, then go to your Applications, and then find the Waves Client inside that folder. And then you're going to go ahead and right-click 
and then click open. So I'll go ahead and exit out of this for now and wait for it to load up. It's saying, are you sure you want to open it? However, it gives us the option to click open now. So I'll go do that. And another way you could open it is to go to your devices here. And if you notice Waves is connected, you could also click here and then reopen it by doing that. Okay, great. So this is the Waves client. This is a welcome to the Waves platform. In blue here, it says what you need to know about your seed. So go ahead and pause the video now and take the time to read this. Okay, great. I'm going to go ahead and click this. Now it's giving us more data about our seed. I'm going to click protect myself. And there's data about fishers. Go ahead and read that. That's very important. Click I understand. And this is what the Waves client looks like. So there's a getting started button right here. You could click that and it's giving you an account address and an avatar you could choose. And you could click continue. And then you're gonna wanna choose a name and a password. Here's a pro tip. On our team, we use password managers. The password manager we use is keypass.info. That's spelled K-E-E P-A-S-S dot info and it's free and it's open sourced and our team uses it. So go ahead and start using a password manager if you are not already. Get your password from there because it auto generates a very strong password for you and you don't even have to memorize it. So just copy and paste that password from your password manager into here and typically you want to do that for all your accounts especially all your crypto accounts and you want to change and update your passwords every so often. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a name and then remember to use your password manager for your password and then copy and paste that into here and then click continue. And it's now giving us the option to back it up or do it later. And since there's no funds in it, I'm just going to do it later. So I'll click do it later. And there's some things that you want to confirm before you begin using it. And go ahead and take the time to read that now. And once you're done with that, click confirm and begin. And here's the Waves client. This is officially what it looks like. It's telling you the price of Waves right here. It's telling you the Bitcoin price right here, along with the Ethereum price. If I go back to Waves here and click send, I can choose an address to send to. I can choose the amount, a description or message, and then click continue and send. And then along with the receive button, I can choose an asset I want to receive. And all you have to do is copy and share this address right here. So you can set up an invoice here. It looks like you could buy waves with your card and it looks like you could connect your bank account to this so that's great go ahead and explore that if you wish i'm going to exit out of this for now other things i could do is click portfolio on the top here and it's saying that there's waves and that there's zero in here there's a transactions tab that shares the history so there's nothing here and then there's a leasing option where apparently you could lease your waves. If you go to the left side here, under the wallet looking option, this is an exchange here. And I would definitely have to save this for another video. And there's a token generation option here where you could create your own token on the waves platform. And under that, there's a settings option, general settings, security options, the network, and more info. So great. In this video, I am not sharing with you how to send, receive, backup, protect, or even update the wallet. I just wanted to show you how to download and install it and show you what the user interface looks like a little bit. However, stay tuned for those videos. There is one more thing that I wanted to share with you, 
and that's to verify that you can open and close the wallet. So I'll go ahead and show you how I do that. I'm going to drag my screen recorder to the top left and show you that it says Waves Client on the top here. I'm going to go ahead and click Quit. And the second thing that I'm going to do is go to my Finder here and under Devices, it's saying that my Waves Client, the application, is connected to my device. What I'm going to do here is click the Eject button so that it's not connected anymore. So I'll go ahead and do that and it's no longer there anymore. To reopen it, you want to go to your Finder, go to your Applications, and then find Waves Client here. And you could double click on it to open it. And here it is. It takes you back to the login. Remember, I created an account just earlier. And the password I want to enter is from, again, a password manager. So that actually concludes my video. Congratulations, you officially downloaded and installed the Waves client. If you like watching these types of tutorials, go get the cryptocurrency investing blueprint. You can learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint and you could get 10% off using my promo code DENNY2018 that's spelled D-E-N-N-I. You could look at the display address here or check out the description below. You could also follow me on Twitter. My handle is Denny Lovejoy. And thank you so much for watching my Waves Wallet tutorial. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, leave me a message on Twitter. Thanks again and have a terrific day.